Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this video. Today, I'm creating a video on how to set up VP Payment Gateway on your website. This video is for people in Africa, people in Nigeria, small business, small business owners in Nigeria that owns the website and you want to collect payments. So you VP is the kind of payment gateway like Flutterwave, like Paystack that you can integrate with your website and you will use it to collect payments. So you can see, if you look at this place, you see simplifying payment processes. The easiest way to set up your business bank account, send slash receive payments and verify customer bank transfer instantly so vp is about more than selling so it's vp is a payment solution that enables cashier and online shoppers cuts to increase customer loyalty by accepting payment via bank transfer and you can also use it for cards also so you can use the vp web vp retail vp api so for the sake of this video, I want to show you how you can integrate the payment gateway with your website, your, your, your WooCommerce website, if you have WooCommerce, if your website is built on WooCommerce, basically. So what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is to set up your account. To set up your account, so we will be using a documentation We'll be using the documentation by VP to do this. You see, the first step is to can you see VP WooCommerce plugin specification. The first thing is to register your live merchant account at this link, vp.africa. vp.africa. So once you set up your account, this is my own account here. You go to vp.africa, set up the, your account with them. It's so easy. It's so easy to do. Make sure you verify your account. Make sure you verify your account. That will enable you to collect payments. If you don't verify your accounts by giving them all your KYC document and doing KYC with them, your account will not be verified. And if your account is not verified, you will not be able to collect payments. But I'm showing you the process that you need to that you will need to set it up and integrate their payment gateway on your website. So once you verify, once your, your account is verified, the process, you, you'll be able to collect payments, basically. So the first thing you need to do is to set up your account. Once you set up your account, you have a dashboard like this. Come to your dashboard and stay on this dashboard. Go to the back end of your website. This is the back end of my website. The first step, the second step here is for you to, is to, the second step is, Plug once you have set up your account here, like I said, go to the next step. The next step for you is plugin installation. If you go to plugin installation, you will see go to your WordPress admin, go to plugin and add new. So let's download this your plugin. Download your plugin here. So let's go to the back end of our website. Let's go to plugins and let's go to add new plugins. Once you go to add new plugins, come to this search here, paste the plug, paste it there, paste the name of the plugin there, then you will see, scroll down, then you see V Payment Gateway for WooCommerce. What you need to do is to install it, make sure you have VP Africa. Yeah, make sure you, you, are, you are sure that it's from them. The next thing you need to do is to click on activate. Once you activate the plugin, go to WooCommerce and go to, come to this left-hand side, go to WooCommerce and go to settings. Go to settings, yeah. Go to settings. Once you go to settings, go to payments. Once you go to payments, you will see, you will see VP. Can you see VP? You see VP, yeah. 
you will see VP here as part of the payment options that you have. Can you see that Flutter Wave is integrated with this website already? So the next thing you need to do is to click on Manage. Once you click on Manage, you will see a web hook URL here. You need this web hook URL. So once you click on Manage and it takes you to this page, what you need to do first is to enable VP Gateway. That's what you do first. Then you come down and it's because I've done this before. You ensure that this is not in a test environment. You ensure that you have a live public key and live secret key here. If you click on enable test, you will see that this thing will change to test, test public key, test secret key. So, but I won't take this because I want, I just want to take you to, I just want to take you straight to the point. So what you need to do is to ensure that you have live public key and live secret key here. So what you will do next is to go back to your dashboard. Go back to your dashboard and your account of your VP account. You know, you, we've, left, we've left our website now. So we are now back on vpay.africa, our dashboard. The next thing you need to do is to click on settings. Once you click on settings, go to APIs. Once you come to API, you will see public key. Public key. So make sure you you enable this just you all you need is you just click the way i over on this click on this web slash e-commerce payment enabled for this account just click on the way i click on the way i will click on this make sure you click on this just click on it it will allow you to click on it so once you click on it click the way i over on this you know it will allow me to if i click on it it will allow me to create a sandbox a sandbox for testing web payment. So, but I don't want to use Sandbox. That Sandbox is just for testing. I want to show you how you can go straight to the point and you will do it. So what you need to do is to click on this. Click on this. It's because I've clicked on it already. Just click on it. It will now, then you copy your public key. Click on web, web slash e-commerce payment enabled for this account. Click on it so that you will enable it. Once you click on it, Copy your public key here. Yeah. Don't click on tests. Don't click on sandbox for testing. Click on this. So once you click on this, copy your public key. Come to the back end of your website. Paste the public key here. First. Go back again. Click on get secret key. Then you copy. Come back here again and paste it there. Then you click on save changes. With this, we have been able to set up our payment gateway. One thing you need to do again is your webhook, webhook URL. This thing is it will make your transaction go through. So you copy this webhook URL, you copy it from this HTTPS, you come here and you go to webhook. Go to webhook and paste your web hook here, paste it here, and click on save changes. Once you do that, you are good to go. So let's now test our payment. Then you go to your website. Let's go to our, go to your website to test your payment. Go to all products now. Once you go to all products, add a product to cart. Let's say you want to buy this, add this product to cart, add it to cart. Once you add this product to cart, let's add this product to cart. Then add this product to cart. Then view your cart. So let's say we've added this product to cart. One, let's remove this. Then just fill in all your details. Click on proceed to checkout. Just click on proceed to checkout. Let's click on proceed to checkout here. 
once you click on proceed to checkout, you will see the VP payment gateway there. Can you see the VP payment gateway that we just set up? Just click on it. I told you we, we have Flutter Wave there already. We have Wave by Flutter Wave. But you can also put VP, anybody that wants to use VP to make their payment. So since we've set this up, you click on VP, then you click on place order. If you click on place order now, their payment gateway will pop up. So let's go to see. Can you see pay with VP? Then you see this. So please submit your identity, your identification document and activate your account. So that's why I said you can use your card to pay, you can use your USDT, US, USSD, you can use bank transfer to make payments. So that's why I said you need to verify your account. Once you follow the steps in this video and you verify your account, the payment will go through at this point. So you just pay, like the way anybody can pay with Paystack, anybody that integrates Paystack on their website, anybody that integrates Flutterwave on their website, they will just pay with their card pay with bank transfer or pay with USA, USSD. It's that simple. I've, I believe you have been able to gain value in this video. So if you have any questions concerning the steps in this video, just drop your comment. Drop a comment on this video. I will pick up your, your, your questions and I will provide answers to it. If you are here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will encourage you to subscribe right now like this video also like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel it's very important thank you